Orlando, Florida, home to the Earth's most popular theme park and the location for this college football game. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Buffalo Bulls and the Central Florida Golden Knights. And here come the Golden Knights. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit along with you. It's been a heck of a season, and today's game looks to add to the excitement and maybe answer a few questions. The Bulls come into this game expecting a win. I tend to agree with that. How about you, Herbie? Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brad. Buffalo looks a little overpowering in this one, and I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete, and Lee, I think he'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. I was just about to say that, but forget about it. Buffalo has a huge advantage in this football game, especially on defense. They won't break down in this ball game. They won't even bend. Kirk, look for a lot of three and outs in this one. Thanks, guys. Let's head down to the field. The two teams are lined up for the coin toss. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He hits a booming kick. Weeks fields it in the end zone. They'll take over at the 20. Central Florida lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. He unloads it, and it's caught. Frazier tackles him for a loss on the play. There's a 10-yard loss. Second and long, ball on the 10-yard line. Three wideouts here. Back to pass. He passes it. Complete. Number two brings him down at the 23-yard line. They pick up nice yardage there on the pass. They're down in seven. Ball in the 23. Four three defense. They'll run the option. And they make the stop at the 26 yard line. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. Fourth and four. Ball on their own 26. They line up to punt this one away. Huber punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number 28 calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 47-yard line. They'll go to work at the 47-yard line. The Bulls come out in the ace formation. Here's the draw. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Good play there by the defensive end to wrap him up for a loss. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball in their own 47. They come out with a big set. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He's on the run. Throws it deep downfield. It falls incomplete. Third and 10, ball in their own 47. Number seven with four wide receivers. He's gonna try and scramble. And it's incomplete. Well, the defense did tall there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Fourth down and 10, ball in their own 47. Buffalo lining up the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number four signals for a fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. Central Florida sets up in the eye. He drops back. 
He's looking for his man. Estes with a catch. With a stiff arm. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown! He hauled in the long pass for the touchdown. This receiver is big time, big play. If this were baseball, he'd bat cleanup because he's the biggest home run threat they got. That touchdown pass we're seeing again. Ah, you betcha. He runs a good clean route there, and the quarterback throws it to him with a lot of confidence. Good touchdown, guys. And he tacks on the extra point. And under three minutes to go in the first quarter. The score, Central Florida, seven. Buffalo, nothing. Central Florida is ready to kick it away. And they'll be returning this one. Nelson fields it at the seven. They'll start this drive at the 33-yard line. Number 28, alone in the backfield. They hand it off. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Number 98 with a takedown at the 38. That'll be a gain of five. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 38. The bull. Line up with two tight ends. There's a play fake. Let's it go. Incomplete. The tight end almost had that one. Third and five. Ball on the 38 yard line. The Golden Knights come out in a 34 defense. Number seven. Back to pass. He steps up. Looks. He throws it. Houston has it, and he's tackled at the 27-yard line. He can provide some excitement. He sure can, and the thing that makes this play successful is the fact that he's on the same page with his quarterback. Sometimes you see wide receivers that don't have their heads in the game, and they make stupid mistakes. You're right. Then they complain about not getting the ball. Number seven gives it up the middle. Number 30 brings him down at the 19-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Second and two. This is the fifth play of this drive. Central Florida brings in the nickel here. Number seven, back to throw. Looking. He lets it go. And it's caught. Tackle at the nine. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. The Golden Knights bring in the nickel package. Number seven gives it up the middle. And he's taken down at the nine. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Buffalo will line up in a jumbo set here. And he's tackled at the six. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Central Florida lines up defensively to 3-4. He's looking under heavy pressure. And they get the sack. Good play by the defense. Yeah, they came with the blitz that time, and the big lineman was able to spring free for the sack. This is fourth down and goal to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Wong in to attempt the short field goal. It's up. And it's through the upright. Buffalo to kick this one off. Weeks and number four back to return. Kicks it off. Number four fields it in the end zone. Take over at the 20. 
The Bulls use a four-man front here. Back to pass. Let's it fly. Complete. He's out to the 30, to the 40. He's to the 50. And they finally make the stop. At the 46. What a play. What a play is right. Here they throw the ball to the tight end, and the big guy shows that he's valuable not only as a blocker, but as a receiver as well. Nice catch. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score, Central Florida, 7, Buffalo, 3. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46. The Bulls bring in the nickel package. Dead ball. Dead ball. ball start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Still first down. First down and 15 to go. Ball on the 49. Cut. 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 Drop back to pass. Looks. Deep pass down the left side. He finally goes down at the 24. That catch gives him over 100 yards in the first half. Yeah, this guy's off to a hot start. Let's see if he can keep it up. First and 10, ball on the 24-yard line. Buffalo lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 15, running the option. Number 56 with a takedown at the 22. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 22. Number 15 lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. Throws it out there, and it's knocked down. Guys, he threw that one right into the coverage. Kirk, nothing gets a coach more fired up than to throw the ball into coverage. Oh, wait, uh, <clears throat> you never made mistakes like that, did you? No, of course not. Third and eight, ball on the 22-yard line. The Bull line up in a nickel back. He unloads it, and it falls incomplete. The tailback, the intended target. Well, here the quarterback put just a little bit too much on the ball and overthrew him. It's fourth and eight, ball on the 22-yard line. They got to go for it on this fourth and long. Number 15 steps back to pass. He guns it to the left, and he gets the touchdown. He grabbed that one for his second touchdown of the half. And that second touchdown pass was just as pretty as the first one. This guy's good. And he tacks on the extra point. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Central Florida, 14, Buffalo, 3. Central Florida to kick. Nelson and number 28 back deep to return. Short kickoff. Nelson takes it to 15. It's first and 10, ball on the 31-yard line. Buffalo goes with the ace set here. On the ground, up the middle. And down he goes at the 37-yard line. A gain of six. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Bull come out in a two-tight end set. Number seven, hands off on the delay. Tackle at the 44. And that was a nice job of running. You know what, Brad? If they can utilize a balanced offense, mix up the run with the pass, they should be able to get more of these five to six yard runs. It's first and 10, ball on their own 44. Defense lines up in a 4 3. 
He's going long. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And that was out of reach for his tight end. Second and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Bull line up with two tight ends. Number seven drops back to pass. Looking. This one's thrown deep over the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. I think he was feeling a lot of pressure there, guys. <laughs> I tell you what. He's lucky he got rid of that ball when he did, because they were coming. Third and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. The Bull come out in the ace formation. Number seven drops back. He's looking. Steps up in the pocket. He lets it go deep down the middle. And it's incomplete. So they run the same pass play again. Yeah, typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player. They feel confident about a play's chances. In this case, the defense was well prepared. The Bull line up the punt. Number four takes it to 14. And not much there on the return. They'll go to work at the 14-yard line. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Number 15 drops to throw. He passes it. Number four makes the catch. And a nice catch coming out of the backfield. Yeah, this is a good job of the quarterback reading the coverage downfield and realizing he had to dump the ball to the running back for the big game. Second down and short. Ball on the 24-yard line. Number 15 with three wide receivers. Number 15 back to pass. They'll throw the flag and he can't make the catch. Holding, Holding. on the offense. On the offense. Yard Holding. Holding. Still Still down. Second down. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 14. The Golden Knights line up in an I formation. Back to pass. Under pressure. And it's caught. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. Here's the option left. He fakes a pitch. A lateral. Number four brings him down at the 50. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. No question. And they were not ready for that option play. They had guys running everywhere except to the ball. Lee, you're right. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. Number 15 lines up in the shotgun. Number 15 steps back to pass. He's looking for his man. And he's tackled at the 43. Central Florida calls a timeout. And that was their first timeout. A second down and three to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. They come out in a five wide set. Drops back to pass. Looks. Complete. Tanner with a takedown at the 12. Central Florida takes a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. It's first and 10, ball on the 12-yard line. The Bulls line up in a 4-3. They'll run the option. They'll bring him down at the 11. Quarterback picked up a yard at best there on the scramble. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 11-yard line. Buffalo comes out in a 4-3. Number 15, back to throw. Let's it go. And it's complete for the touchdown. And for the third time in this first half, they've managed to find the end zone through the air. When his quarterback gets in rhythm, watch out. This could be ugly. Uh -huh. 
And he hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Central Florida 21, Buffalo 3. Central Florida to kick this one off. He kicks it. Nelson fields it at the 11. They'll get the ball here at the 28-yard line. The Bulls come out in the ace formation. Number seven drops back to pass. He wants it all going long. McIntyre hangs on to it at the 30. Brought down at the 18. And a big catch by the tight end. Yeah, that was big. And I'll tell you what, that tight end can really move. And here's another look at the pass, guys. And Brad, here I think the defense has to be careful. They're giving the receiver too much room to catch the ball and make a play after the catch. They need to play a little bit tighter out there. They'll run the option. Tackle at the 13. About five yards on the quarterback keeper. Second down and five. Ball on the 13-yard line. Buffalo lines up in a double tight set. They throw a flag. Number 28 on the delay. Number 92 brings him down for a loss. Holding, Holding. on the offense. On the offense. Ten Ten yard Still Still down. Down. Second down. Right. Second down. 15 to go. Ball on the 23. Buffalo goes with the ace set here. He drops back. He throws it. And it's caught. And he's taken down at the one-yard line. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw him practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players execute in a game like they did all week in practice. Good job. The Bulls line up in a goal line formation. Number seven gives it up the middle. Touchdown, Bulls! Not much trouble getting in on that one. Yeah, the running back just ran right through the opening, almost like a truck driving down the highway. Watch out. And he tacks on the extra point. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Buffalo 10, Central Florida 21. Buffalo is ready to kick it away. Weeks and number four, deep to return. Not a real deep kick, should be returned. Number four, fields it at the three. They'll start this drive at the 23-yard line. Central Florida comes out with an eye formation. Number four gets a carry left side, breaks one, and the defense is on it. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Central Florida 21, Buffalo 10. Central Florida will be kicking off to start the second half. He kicks it. Number 28 fields it at the 11. They'll take over at the 27. The Bull. Come out of the ace formation. Number seven hands off right side. Number 98 brings him down at the 29-yard line. Gain of two. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Two tight end set. Number seven drops to throw. He's scrambling, rolling out to the right side. He lets it go. Complete. He's to the 40. 
He's to the 50, to the 40. Henderson with a takedown at the 34. He can provide some excitement. He sure can. And the thing that makes this play successful is the fact that he's on the same page with his quarterback. Sometimes you see wide receivers that don't have their heads in the game, and they make stupid mistakes. You're right. Then they complain about not getting the ball. Central Florida comes out in the 3-4. Number seven, back to pass. Heaves a long one down the middle. Incomplete pass. He was way out in front on that one. Yeah, there was no chance for the tight end to catch up to that ball there. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Two tight ends set. They hand it off. Brought down at the 34. Didn't get anything. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on the 34-yard line. Number 28 lines up with a single back. Back to pass. Looking. Now he's scrambling. Let's it fly. And that one's fallen incomplete. Fourth and ten coming up. Ball on the 34. They're not going to go for it. It's up, looks long enough, and it's right down the middle. He hit that one from way out there. Oh, man, that was a beautiful kick. Buffalo to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Weeks fields it in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 20. Central Florida lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. He's out to the 30, to the 40. Sheds a tackler. And he's finally brought down at the 47. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47. They come out in a nickel. Number 15. Options out to the right. Fakes it. Number 41. Brings him down at the 39-yard line. They grab eight yards there. Second and two. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Golden Knights line up in an eye formation. Number 15 still has it. Guns it across the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. The receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. No, he couldn't. And I'll tell you what, the quarterback was conscious of the blitz that time by the defense. That may have been the reason that he overthrew the football. Buffalo lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 15 tosses to the left side. He spins around. Anderson tackles him for a loss on the play. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Ah, uh, rub some dirt on it, kid. Get back in the game where you belong. It's fourth down and three yards to go. Ball on the 40. Central Florida will line up in a jumbo set here. On the ground, up the middle. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. And the D answered the call there. And this is huge for them. It's setting up the stage for their offense to take the field and make some big-time plays. Central Florida brings in their nickel package. Rolls right. He scrambled. Going deep. Swatted away. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time. Getting a hand on the football. Second and ten. Ball on their own 38. The Golden Knight bring in the nickel package. He's looking. He's on the run. Rifles it over the middle. 
They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. Not a bad play there. Not at all. And if this wideout can continue to make plays like this, allowing them to spread the ball around, this offense is going to be tough to stop. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44. The Golden Knights line up in a 3-4. On the ground, up the middle. He's hit and got away. Hines with a takedown at the 30-yard line. And he reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. Number 28, it's a handoff to the right. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Second and 10, fifth play of this drive coming up. Central Florida lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number seven, steps back to pass. Throws it out there, tipped away. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 30. Central Florida comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Number seven drops back to pass. He's rolling left. He's going to try and scramble. He goes downtown. Off his hands, incomplete. It's fourth down and 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30. Wong comes in to kick the field goal, and he's going to have to get a leg into this one. It's up. And it sails through the upright. And that was not an easy kick, guys. Forget about it. This kid can make it from 60 yards or further. Buffalo ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. Weeks fields it in the end zone. They'll get the ball here at the 20. Four three defense. Tries to juke. And he's hammered down. That'll be a gain of five. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Golden Knights come out in a shotgun. Number four on the give. Tackle at the 29-yard line. And he just eclipsed the 1,000-yard mark for rushing. You know, to a lot of people, it's no big deal if a guy runs for over 1,000 yards in a season. But I'll tell you what, it takes some skills to be able to accomplish this feat. The Golden Knights line up in an eye formation. He drops back, steps up, he unloads it, and it's caught. Nice spin move. Number four brings him down at the 34-yard line. That will be enough for the first down. Well, you talk about a sharp pass. That was a nice throw right there. Kirk, wasn't that a nice catch? <sighs> Central Florida comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Number 15 gives it up the middle. He to the 40. Tanner with a takedown at the 45-yard line. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? Oh, a thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. The Golden Knights have five receivers on this play. Nelson brings him down at the 42-yard line. And remember one thing that this coach said. They will force it down this defense's throat until they prove that they can stop it. The Bulls line up in a nickelback. Number 15 drops back. Looks, fires across the middle. And they make the stop at the 34. A nice pickup of about eight yards. Second and two. This is the seventh play of this drive. Central Florida lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. He passes it, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Overthrew his intended target. We talked about this before, how pressure causes the quarterback to hurry his passes. Here he felt the blitz coming and got rid of the ball a little too quickly. The crowd in the line, number 15, makes a handoff. 
And he's tackled at the 19. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. The Bull bring in the nickel package. He's looking for his man. Number four with a catch. And they back up three yards on that play. It's second down now and 13 to go. Tenth play of this drive coming up. The Golden Knights line up in an I formation. Number 15 on the option right. And he's stopped behind the line. And he'll pick up negative yards on that. Boy, one. there's nothing good about the word negative unless you're talking about medical exams or x-rays. And you're right, that option play had nothing going for it. Third and long. Eleventh play of this drive coming up. Central Florida comes out with five receivers. Number 15, back to pass. Frazier with a takedown at the 23. So they come up well short on that run. Well, here's third and long. I'm assuming they just wanted to protect the football and keep the clock running. Fourth and 14 coming up. They're in field goal range. Central Florida in a five-wide set. Drops back to pass. Fires a bullet out to the right. Complete. And down he goes at the 15-yard line. They couldn't convert that fourth down. Boy, look at these guys out there. They are fired up. Now let's see if it's going to lead to any points. Buffalo goes with the ace set here. He drops back. Looking. Rolls to the right. Let's it go. And it's caught. Number 33 brings him down at the 34-yard line. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. Back to pass. He's looking. He's scrambling. He's going long. Complete to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 28. Number 28, alone in the backfield. Number 7, drops to throw. Rolling out to the left side. Now he's scrambling. A pickup of 5. Second and 5 coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Buffalo comes out with two tight ends. Number 7, drops back to pass. He throws it. And it's caught. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Hey, Coach, here's a nice stat. That last pass leaves him with over 2,000 passing yards for the year. Hey, isn't that about what you had your senior year with the Ohio State Buckeyes? Not quite. Almost broke 2,000. Buffalo will line up in a jumbo set here. Touchdown, Bulls! There's number two on the day. The coach loves to give the football to this running back. You know why? Because he knows how to find the end zone. And he hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Buffalo 23, Central Florida 21. Buffalo to kick this one off. Weeks and number four set to return. Kicks it deep. Weeks fields it in the end zone. Sheds that one. They'll start this drive at the 28. The Bulls line up with six defensive backs. Number 15, back to throw. He lets it go, complete, and he's tackled at the 45-yard line. And a nice catch by the wideout that time. Guys, when we were at practice this week, you kind of got the feeling that they might run a little no huddle. In fact, here it comes. Looks. And it's caught. There's a missed tackle. Number two with a takedown at the 28-yard line. 
That one's going to put him over 2,000 yards for the season, fellas. Well, anytime you can throw for 2,000 yards in Division 1A football, you know it's been quite a season. Drop back to pass. He's under pressure. Number 7 has it. Number 12 brings him down at the 11-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. Second and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Central Florida sets up in the eye. On the ground, up the middle. And they make the stop at the ten-yard line. Buffalo calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. The Golden Knights go with the I formation. Kraft gets the carry. Number 56 with a takedown at the eight. Buffalo takes a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up. And it's through the uprights. And that field goal is going to put him on top. Hey, Brad, you talk about clutch players? This kid is sensational. Central Florida is ready to kick it away. He kicks it. Number 28 takes it to 15. take over at the 37 yard line number 28 lines up at the single back the handoff on the counter and they got him for a loss the offense calls a timeout and that was their third and final timeout second down and 12 ball on the 35 the Golden Knight put four men up front looking lets it fly complete Number 49 brings him down at the 34. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving for the game. It's first and 10, ball on the 34. The Bull come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. He's looking. He rolls out to the right, throws it out there, and it's knocked away. That play looked familiar. Yeah, this is something this coach does on a regular basis. He's not afraid to call the same play if he feels the defense is in a compromised position. You're right, but I'll be surprised if you see it again here. Two tight ends here. Looks. Fires deep down the right side. And it's caught. Tackle at the 12-yard line. I know I've said this all week, but I like this kid's arm. He's got good mechanics and a nice touch on the ball. He's not doing bad in this game either, my friend. Not bad is right, Lee. That last pass gives him over 300 yards on the day. He unloads it. Incomplete. Couldn't find his man in the end zone there. You know, as a quarterback, I can tell you that the defense is always tougher down in the end zone. It's second down and 10 to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. The Bulls come out in a two tight end set. Drops back to pass. Rolls to the left. He scrambled. He's looking deep down the left side. Weeks tips it away. The corner almost came up with a big turnover there. Well, the corner's able to bat this ball away, but he'd love another opportunity there to make the catch. They're not going to like to hear me say this, but that's one of the reasons why they're on defense and not playing offense. Wong lined up for the field goal. This should be a chip shot. It's up. And he got it. And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. Buffalo ready to kick this one off. Weeks and number four back ready to return. It's a low line drive. This one's pretty short. Number four takes this to 14. They'll go to work at the 30-yard line. The Bulls line up with six defensive backs. He 
drops back. Looking. This one's thrown deep over the middle, and it's incomplete. And that's the end of the ball game. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I really enjoyed watching these two teams duke it out. Buffalo proved that they're a good football team, and they can overcome all kinds of adversity to get a win. I think they answered a lot of questions in this game. Well, that'll wrap up another chapter in NCAA Football 2003. And again, our final score, Buffalo 26, Central Florida 24. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso, signing off. Until next time, so long, everybody.